Archery has been a close companion to humanity for a long time. The oldest fragments of a bow found date back 30 to 20,000 years ago, the old Stone Age era. In history, its usage in hunting and war made it an essential tool or weapon. So, let's 3D print one. Throughout history, a lot of different bow designs emerged and disappeared again. During my research alone, I found about 28 clearly distinguishable designs from different time periods and eras. Some examples being the Danish Holmgard flat bow from the Old Stone Age to the English longbow dating back to 2690 BC and the first composite bow, the Mongol bow, from 1200 AD. These things always amazed me, to think that 20,000 years ago a very early ancestor of the engineer or crazy scientist came up with it is just baffling and crazy to me at least. Uh, so a couple of months ago after I've uploaded my crossbow video I figured why not tackle a bow next. But to be honest I really underestimated the challenge because while a crossbow, at least the crossbow that I built, was super compact, a bow just really isn't. A typical 3D printer for home use has a build volume of about 210 times 210 times 205 millimeters. The model that I'm using is an Ender 5 with a build volume of 220 times 220 times 300 millimeters. Quite a bit bigger, but when we compare that to the size of a normal longbow, which is around 1700 millimeters, we get an idea just how screwed we are. Luckily, we have two things working for us. Number one, as explained in my crossbow video, we have to print in a horizontal direction. And since the print bed is 220 times 220, we get a whooping diagonal of 310 millimeters. So to print this thing, we would just need six pieces. Or we shrink it a bit and make it five, just to make things a little easier. The design that I have in mind is this. The bow grip will be one massive piece, but the upper and lower limb of the bow will be printed in two parts each. And this is where the second thing that works in our favor comes into play, because we only have about two points of massive forces we need to deal with. The limbs will essentially rotate around the grip component's edges when we draw the bow. That will turn them into giant levers, so we'll add a notch at the far ends of the grip into which the limbs can be wedged. Since this notch will have to deal with massive forces right here, we have to make sure that it's quite tough. I did a little bit of math to figure out, you know, the forces that we are dealing with, but in the end it always comes down to does it work or not. So I created a little test setup to see if the design does what it's supposed to. Okay, let's get this on the road. I can see so many ways how this can and might be a little bit wrong. Uh, crap, it's upside down. Oh, the match. Okay, testing. Three kilograms. Four, five, six. Setting at six and a half. Well, let's try this again. Go and add it a bit faster. And seven, eight. Ow. Call it. Fuck. Ouch. Okay, well, first of all, remember to hit the subscribe button. Second, um, at that point, I had a design that should work. I mean, I tested all the components, and after going through a little bit of integration hell, it was time to put it all together. Okay, let's give this thing a proper test. Um, 
This is right now not with a 3D printed bowstring. I'll also be using regular 26 inch arrows uh, for the most part because the string is just not that robust and I don't want to have to do it all over again for the night shooting. And um, similar, same thing basically goes for the arrow. So let's make this about uh, accuracy with <laughs> proper equipment. The distance of the target, around about eight meters from where I'm standing and the bow, I have to re recheck, but it should be 12 kilograms, uh, 12 pounds of draw weight. Off to a good start. Add some kick to it. Number four. Four. All right. Last one. Pretty freaking awesome, I gotta say. <laughs> now, for the destructive power of this thing, I already know that. It does fairly well against watermelons. <laughs> but now I've mounted a plate uh, to the box and let's see how much carnage we can do there. I don't expect too much. The tips are quite blunt. We'll see. <laughs> okay. For the final test, the 3D printed arrow, it's quite front heavy, so it should be pretty stable in the air, but it's notoriously hard to aim with this thing. Uh, I don't really know why, but it is what it is. So let's do one quick test with this during the daytime, and then let's jump to the nighttime. works. Arrow is arrow. <laughs> okay, let's go to the night time. Boom. <laughs> well, it's dark outside and I figured I have to find some way so that you can actually see me. Um, and here we have it. The 100% 3D printed bow, including the bowstring. Of course, also the arrow and the bow itself. Now, I don't know for how many shots this bow is going to last, especially the bowstring. I only shot it twice or something. So I'm going to do just one test out here tonight. I'm going to shoot this as far as possible, and then we call it night. Let's see. Seriously? <laughs> I hope this is on camera. <laughs> okay, that quite obviously didn't work the way it was supposed to. Um, from what I've been able to figure out so far, I mean, the bow is pretty much fine. It's just one bolt that, that got ripped, uh, ripped apart. And I believe that the bowstring snaps and released the energy very poorly into the bow and causing that bolt to blow out, fly off. So all in all, not a complete win there. Uh, I did shoot it a couple of times with a twice with a 3D printed string before, but I don't want to add that to the video because it would just be lame. I promise I will remake it and upload a video on that. I do believe it's very important to also show the failures in a video like this because it shows the kind of well, hard side to doing these kinds of projects and I want people to see that it doesn't always go according to plan. That being said, the video will follow where I actually shoot the 100% 3D printed bow. I promise, I just won't make a part of this one. Okay, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, please leave a comment down below, subscribe somewhere, well, I guess down there. Uh, probably check out one of my other videos. And until next time.